Hi students, this is a tutorial on how to recode variables in SPSS. So why would you want to recode variables? A couple reasons. One, let's just say you have an interval ratio variable and then you create a graph or a frequency table or you create a cross tab with interval ratio variables. What's going to happen is you're going to have too many categories uh, displayed and it's not going to look good when you create a cross tab with interval ratio variables. So let's take a look at what I mean. So let's just say you want to look at the variable age which is interval ratio. It ranges anywhere from 18 to 89 and older. Um, the general social survey doesn't interview people or doesn't survey people under the age of 18 so it starts at 18. If you're over the age of 89 then they just put everybody who's over the age of 89 into the 89 and older category. So let's take a look at the variable age. Click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, we'll go over to Frequencies, um, let's find the variable age, and let's uh, create a histogram with it, let's also create a frequency table. So we're going to display the frequency table here to the left, press OK. And what you're going to see is that you have a bunch of categories. So it has people who are 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And it just goes all the way to 89 and older. Right? The histogram doesn't look too bad, but the frequency table is practically impossible to read if you're trying to do any type of analysis. So what do I mean by that? Let's just say that we want to look at a cross tab. We believe that age is going to influence so age is our independent variable, which means it's going to go into the columns. And let's just say that we believe it's going to influence whether or not people uh, believe in God or something like that. Okay, we're going to calculate the cells for the columns. Then let's press OK. Now let's see the way the cross tab is actually displayed. So you're going to have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So you're going to see massive amounts of categories. And if you create a cross tab like this, it's going to be really, really difficult to interpret whether or not age influences, you know, if people believe in God or not. Okay, so what you would want to do is you would want to collapse the massive amounts of categories that you have with interval ratio variables into more manageable categories. So instead of having 18 to 89 and older, you might want to do something like 18 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, and so on. So I'm going to show you the process on how to go about doing that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on transform, and then you're going to go and click on recode into different variables. Now don't recode into the same variables because if you recode into the same variables it's going to alter the original data and then you won't be able to go back to you know finding the original age variable. So let's just say that we're trying to recode the age variable into a different variable. So let's just say I'm just going to name it age2 and maybe I call it recoded age variable. Okay. So this is the old variable that I'm using, which is age, and it displays, you know, people from age 18 to 89 and older, and I want to collapse it to like 18 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on old and new values. So I'm going to create a range. So I'm going to click on range. And so the old value, anybody who's between the ages of 18 to through 29 is going to be in my first category okay so I'm gonna then I'm gonna press add so everybody who's 18 to 29 is going to be in this first category everybody who's 30 to 39 is going to be in this second category and I'm add everybody who's 40 to 49 is going to be in this third category Everybody who's 50 to 59 is going to be in my fourth category. Let's just say that I want to put everybody who's 60 and up is going to be in the same category. Now, I wouldn't do this, but I'm just going to do this just to make it short. I'm sure you all got the concept and you all got the idea. 
So instead of having like 60 to 89, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 60 through value through the highest. So 60, and everybody who's over the age of 60 is going to be in this fifth category now. Now that I did that, I'm gonna press add, and then I have basically everybody who's age 18 to 29 in one category, everybody who's 30 to 39 in the second category, everybody who's 40 to 49 in the third category, everybody who's 50 to 59 in the fourth category, and of course, everybody who's older than the age of 60, 60 and older, are going to be in this fifth category. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna press continue. Okay, I'm gonna press change. Okay, so it took it from the age variable to age two. We have the old values have been transformed into the new values. I'm gonna press okay. Okay, <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to the variable view window. Now, I still have age, because when I transformed the data, I recoded it to a different variable so that original variable is still there. So you don't want to recode into the same variable. Then I'm going to go find age two. Age two is here, okay? So let's just say that I create a frequency distribution using the variable age two. It's going to be down at the bottom because we just created it. We put that in there. So I'm gonna see the original age variable, which is 18 to 89, too many categories. And then I'm gonna see this new one, which has the new category. So everybody who is 18 to 29 is in this first category. Everybody who is 30 to 39 in the second category and so on, okay? Um, but this still looks pretty bad, right? Cause this, when it says valid one, two, three, four, five, still doesn't really make any sense. Okay, it's like, well, what is about that? valid one, what is valid two? So we need to now label each of these values. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back to the variable view window. We're gonna find H2. And we need to start specifying which each, what each value is. So we found H2, like I said, it's gonna be at the bottom. We're gonna click on values. And for the first value, that was everybody who was age 18 to 29, right? The second value was everybody who was 30 to 39. Third was everybody who was 40 to 49. The fourth was everybody who was 50 to 59. And the sixth value was everybody who was 16 above uh, we put into this six category so we add that and now when we rerun the frequency table it's going to specify the age categories for each value so I'm gonna press OK I'm gonna rerun that I'm gonna get rid of the original age variable because we've already seen it press H2 and now we know that instead of seeing one, two, three, four, five, we know what the age ranges are in this category, what the age ranges are in this category, what the age ranges are in this category, because it's been displayed down here after we label all these values. So again, 18 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59. Oh, that didn't go through right. So we need to go back here, label this properly. Maybe we can just do 60 and then plus sign, which means 60 and up. Now let's go ahead and rerun it. Hmm, that didn't work either. Maybe we can come over here. Oh, didn't work. Here we need to remove this, now six, 60, and then let's do the plus sign. And this should work. Add, and then we go, okay. Now we rerun it. I see what happened. We skipped five. Let's 
There is no six. Sorry about that. Now we have all of the ones that we need. There we go. So now we have the very coded. I need to shut these guys up for a second. Okay, now we have the variables recoded. And now when we actually create a cross tab out of these variables, let's just say we want to look at the relationship between age and uh, whether or not people believe in God. We can use this new recoded age variable. And now the cross tab is much easier to interpret. So we can actually interpret this cross tab versus what we saw earlier, which was there was just way too many age categories to actually interpret the cross tabs. And does there appear to be a relationship between age and believing God exists? Not much. But again, this is how you go about recoding age variable and how you go about recoding variables in general.